Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial, we will talk everything about consolidation rate. So let's first understand what is consolidation rate. Consolidation rate basically measures how effectively your matching rules are bringing together fragmented customer data from different sources, right? So you are bringing data from different, different sources and you are consolidating them. So, right, if there is any duplicate, you're combining them and creating a one unique profile for that customer. It is represented as a percentage that shows how many individual source profiles were successfully combined into unified profiles. Let's say you started with 1000 profiles. Now you ran some matching rules based on that. You got 900 unified profiles. So using these numbers, we can calculate the consolidation rate. Now, what is the formula to calculate consolidation rate? Consolidation rate is equals to one minus number of unified profiles divided by number of source profile into 100. So basically one minus number of uni unified profiles. Now what are unified profiles? The final number or final number of profiles that got created after the matching rule ran. And what is number of source profile? The actual number you started with before the matching rules ran. Number of unified profile, this is the count of unique customer profile created after the identity resolution process has linked the matching profiles from different source systems. So after the matching rules run, what will the total number of the unified profiles created? Now, what is the number of source profile? This is the total count of individual customer profile present across all of your source system before the matching process begins. So before you start the matching process, what was the number of the source profile? So now let's go back to our org here and you can see we had total unified profile created after running the matching rules were 946. We started with 1095. Now let's use the formula and see, did it come to 14%? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the calculator and I'll say 946 is the unified profile total divided by source profile, which is 1095. It will result into 0.86. Now what is one minus 0.86? It is 0.14. So consolidation rate would be multiplied by 100. That becomes 14% and that is exactly correct. So this is the formula to calculate the consolidation rate. Now let's understand the relationship between consolidation rate and matching rule. How the matching rule affects the consolidation rate. How the increase in the matching rule, will it increase consolidation rate or will it decrease consolidation rate? Increasing the number of matching rules will increase the consolidation rate because more matching rules will result into more matches. Okay, so what does this mean? Basically it is saying, that increasing the number of matching rule will increase the consolidation rate. Okay, let me give you an example here. Before we get started, let me give, let's say one minus unified profile divided by total profile. That is the formula for consolidation rate, correct? This is the formula for consolidation rate. Now tell me, increasing the unified profile, will it increase the consolidation rate or will it decrease the consolidation rate? Okay, so let's say one minus 70 divided by 100. Let's say we got 70 unified profile. We started with total 100 records. So what is the consolidation rate in this case? It is going to be one minus 0.7 result into 0.3. Okay, so 0.3 is a consolidation and consolidation percentage would be how much would be multiply by 100 30 percent right so consolidation rate is 30 percent in this case now similarly if let's say the you unified profiles were 50 and then divided by 100 you started with it so that will result into 1 minus 0.5 it will give you 0.5 right and what is going to be the answer here in this case it is going to be 50 percent so basically by increasing the unified profile will reduce your consolidation rate and by reducing the unified profile will increase your consolidation rate. Increasing this particular number 
will result in what? Increasing this number will result in less consolidation rate and decreasing this number will result into more consolidation rate. Okay, that is the basic thing. Now, what will increase the number of unified profile and what will decrease the number of unified profile? Now, let's take a look at it. So here in this case, let's say we have all these customers. Okay, we have John Doe from one system. The email is john.do at example.com and this is the phone number. Similarly, you have j.do, this is the email and this is the phone number. So these are the different contacts coming from different systems. Now, if you do matching rule based on just the email, if you just look at the email, how many unified profiles will be created out of this data just based on the email? You can see here John Doe at example.com and John Doe at example.com. Both of it, this one matches. So there will be one unique profile for these two customer. It will be consolidated into one. Jane Smith. We don't have another jane.smith. So this is the second profile that will be created. Then jane.s at example.com. There is no matching jane again. So this is the third profile that will be created. And John D at example.com since that email doesn't exist. So total of four profiles will be created based on if you do just the matching based on email. Now, so one minus four divided by let's say five what it is going to be. So we had five, right? One minus four divided by five. It is resulting into what? Let's do the calculation. So four divided by five point eight. So one minus point eight is equals to point two multiply by hundred. It is going to give you 20%. Okay. So in this case, consolidation rate is going to be 20%. Now let's say you want to do matching based on email as well as phone. So now you're also looking at phone number to see if there is unique profile or not. Now John Doe and John Doe, both of them have the same email. So it's going to be consolidated. But if you see here, John D at example.com, even though the email doesn't match, but the phone number matches. So now this will become all these three would be consolidated into one. And similarly, even though the email doesn't match, phone number matches here. So these two, number three and number four will be consolidated into one. Okay. So how many unique profile got created now? Only two unique profile got created. So by increasing the number of matching rule, it is reducing your unified profile. So now what is going to be the answer? One minus two divided by five. What is it? Let's calculate one. So two divided by five is equals to 0.4. So one minus 0.4 will result into 0.6 multiply by 100. It is going to give you 60%. So basically it increased your consolidation rate. So when you are increasing the matching, uh, you're, you are only doing matching based on email. Now you said, okay, email and phone that basically reduced your number of unified profile, which resulted into increase in your consolidation rate. So the formula, if the question comes increasing the matching rule, will it affect the consolidation rate? How will it affect it? Will it increase it or decrease it? So always remember number of matching rules. If you increase, it will result into less unified profile, which will increase the consolidation rate. So consolidation rate is directly proportional to matching rules. Increasing the matching rule will result into increase in the consolidation rate. Very simple. So remember this, increasing the number of matching rule will increase the consolidation rate. And how will it increase the consolidation rate? Now you know it because when you increase the matching rule, you will have less unified profile, which will result into increase in the consolidation rate. And what is the formula? One minus number of unified profiles divided by number of source profile and whatever the answer, you multiply it by 100. Okay, the brackets have to be outside of these ones. Okay, so this is the formula to calculate the consolidation rate. I hope it is crystal clear. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.